psychology facts about human behavior, that will blow your mind. There's a significant variance in how much penises grow from their flaccid to erect states. In one study, researchers found that some men's penises increased by less than half an inch, while others grew by over three inches. Alfred Kinsey's research also supports this, showing that shorter flaxseed penises tend to gain more length when erect. The terms grower and shower describe this phenomenon, but remember, these aren't medically defined categories. Men often consider the underside of the glands the head of the penis and the underside of the shaft to be the most sensitive areas. Researchers have confirmed this by asking men to rate the sensitivity of different parts of their bodies. The findings, published in the British Journal of Urology International, revealed that these areas indeed have the highest sensitivity, making them key pleasure zones during sexual activity. Penile sensitivity decreases as men age. Studies show that from the age of 25, sensitivity starts to decline with a sharper drop-off between ages 65 and 75. Despite this, many men may not notice the change unless it affects their ability to achieve erections or ejaculate. Vibrators can also be very effective for men. In fact, medical vibrators are sometimes used to help men with spinal cord injuries ejaculate. These devices work by stimulating nerve pathways involved in ejaculation. But you don't need a medical condition to benefit from a vibrator. Many men use them to enhance their sexual experience and explore different sensations. Your penis is actually longer than it appears. About half of its length is inside your body, attached to the pubic bone. This hidden portion plays a crucial role in penile function, although you can't see it. So, next time you think about your size, remember there's more to it than what's visible. The skin of your penis hosts a diverse community of bacteria. Research from the Translational Genomics Research Institute found 42 unique types of bacteria on the penile skin. Circumcision significantly reduces the variety and number of these bacteria. Before and after circumcision studies showed a marked decrease in bacterial types post-procedure. Approximately 30 centim to 39 of men worldwide are circumcised with rates varying significantly by region and religion. Almost all Jewish and Muslim males are circumcised, making up about 70 of the global circumcised population. Studies suggest that circumcision might reduce the risk of sexually transmitted diseases and penile cancer. It's also recommended by the WHO and UNAIDS as a measure to lower HIV transmission risk. Blue balls. Yes, it's real technically called prostatic congestion. It happens when blood gets trapped in the genitals. A warm shower, aspirin, or an orgasm can relieve the discomfort. Pubic herring suggest it traps pheromones, which are chemicals that play a role in sexual attraction. Sperm average speed of ejaculin. Sperm can travel at 28 mph during ejaculation, faster than the world record for the 100 m sprint. A micropenis is a medical condition where the penis measures less than 2.8 inches when stretched. This condition is quite rare, affecting only about 0.6 of men. It is usually caused by inadequate testosterone levels during a critical stage of fetal development. The penis is often darker than the rest of the body. This is due to the higher concentration of melanocytes, the cells responsible for pigmentation in the genital area. The penis typically stops growing when a man reaches his early 20s. Factors like genetics and hormonal levels during puberty significantly influence the final size of the penis. Medically known as prostatic congestion, blue is a real condition that occurs when blood is trapped in the genitals, causing discomfort. This can usually be relieved through a warm shower, aspirin, or orgasm. Interestingly, married individuals are more likely to masturbate than single people. This may be due to a variety of factors, including increased sexual comfort and knowledge of personal preferences within a marriage. Some men suffer from a fear of erections, known as iophobia. This rare phobia can cause significant anxiety and distress, often requiring psychological intervention.
The average man experiences about 11 erections during the day and an additional 9 erections during sleep. These nocturnal erections are a natural part of the body's maintenance process. Scientists are still uncertain about the exact function of pubic hair, but they theorize it may trap pheromones, which are chemical signals related to sexual attraction. A teaspoon of semen contains roughly 5 calories. Although not a significant amount, it's an interesting fact about the nutritional content of ejaculate. A warm shower, aspirin, or achieving orgasm can help alleviate the discomfort associated with prostatic congestion, commonly known as blue balls. Studies have shown that college-educated women are more likely to enjoy giving and receiving oral sex. This could be linked to increased sexual education and openness about sexual preferences. Formicophilia is a rare sexual interest involving small insects or worms crawling over one's body. This is just one example of the diverse range of human sexual preferences. Avocados were once known as the fruit of the testicle tree and believed to have aphrodisiac qualities, enhancing sexual desire and performance. Approximately four of the U.S. population identifies as gay, lesbian, or bisexual. This statistic highlights the diversity of sexual orientations within society. Around 70 of people in the U.S. admit to fantasizing about group sex at some point in their lives, and over 50 of those people act on these fantasies. About one of people worldwide identify as asexual, meaning they do not experience strong sexual attraction to any gender. Statistics show that around 20 of Americans have engaged in sexual activity with a colleague. This highlights the intersection of professional and personal lives in the workplace. The aroma of wine can arouse both men and women, as certain scents in wine are believed to mimic human pheromones. According to the Kinsey Institute, the average speed of sperm during ejaculation is 28 m. This rapid speed is necessary for successful fertilization. Sex has been given many creative euphemisms over the years, including afternoon delight, dancing the mattress, and horizontal refreshment. The typical man will produce about 14 gallons of semen in his lifetime, which equates to roughly half a trillion Many researchers consider the skin to be the largest sex organ due to its vast network of nerve endings and its role in physical intimacy. Outside the bedroom, the car is the most common place for adults in the U.S. to engage in sexual activity. Lisa Sparks, a porn star, set a world record in 2004 by having intercourse with 919 men in 24 hours. Couples in Greece had the most sex, averaging 164 times per year, followed by Brazil at 1 in 45 times per year. The global average is 103 times per year. Some people are able to orgasm while working out due to repetitious core movements that stimulate the genital area. Dr. John Kellogg, the inventor of Kellogg's cornflakes, was a staunch anti-masturbation campaigner, believing that a healthy diet would decrease sexual thoughts. The average person spends 20,160 minutes kissing in their lifetime, equating to 336 hours, or about 14 days. Research by the American Sociological Association found that the most mind-blowing sex often occurs within loving relationships. Receiving oral sex significantly increases the likelihood of a woman reaching orgasm during a sexual encounter. Wallowing semen may help women get pregnant by preventing their bodies from seeing it as a foreign substance. Humans aren't the only species that engage in oral sex. Chinese fruit bats, bonobo chimpanzees, cheetahs, tigers, and black bears also practice this behavior. In medieval Europe, oral sex was banned as it was considered unnatural. Those found guilty faced severe penalties, such as years of penance. Oral sex can spread bacterial infections, like chlamydia and gonorrhea, as well as viral infections such as herpes and HPV. Sodding was considered a felony in nearly every U.S. state in 1950. As of 2014, 12 states still had anti-sodomy laws on the books. Many women cannot orgasm from penetrative sex alone. 
Higher orgasm rates are associated with additional stimulation, such as oral sex. Semen contains substances like cortisol, which can elevate mood, increase affection, and induce sleep. Rutgers University Researchers used MI imaging to study brain activity during arousal. They found different brain regions are activated in response to stimulation of the vagina, cervix, clitoris, and nipples. The average female orgasm lasts about 20 seconds, which is significantly longer than the male orgasm. During sexual arousal, not only do the genitals and breasts swell, but the inner nose does as well. Sperm bank store, donor semen at teeth, 321 degrees Fahrenheit, allowing it to be preserved indefinitely. Some women have been known to experience orgasm while giving birth due to intense physical and emotional Studies have shown that 85 of men who die of heart attacks during intercourse were cheating on their wives, possibly due to the added stress and Greek couples lead the world in sexual activity, having sex an average of 164 times per year. Over a lifetime, the average man will ejaculate around 17 liters of semen, equating to approximately half a trillion sperm. The initial spurt of ejaculation travels at a speed of 28 MP faster than the world record for the 100-meter sprint. During orgasm, the heart rate can reach an average of 140 beats per minute, a condition known as tachycardia. Despite being an iconic sex symbol, Marilyn Monroe confessed that she never experienced an orgasm, highlighting the complexities of female sexuality. A teaspoon of semen contains approximately 5 calories, showing that sexual activity has nutritional elements, albeit minor. The vibrator, now a common sex toy, was originally designed in the 19th century to treat women with hysteria. A single chicken egg could hold all the female ova needed to repopulate the earth, while the amount of sperm needed could fit in an aspirin capsule. This illustrates the incredible reproductive capacity of humans. In Aztec culture, avocados were considered so sexually potent that virgins were forbidden from contact with them. This belief was due to their resemblance to testicles and their supposed aphrodisiac qualities. Chocolate contains phenylethylamine, the same chemical that the brain releases when people fall in love which might explain its association with romance and attraction. In the animal kingdom, female penguins have been observed engaging in a form of prostitution. Exchanging pebbles with male penguins in return for mating opportunities. This behavior highlights the complex social dynamics in animal mating rituals. The earliest known depiction of condom use is a cave painting in France dating back 12,000 to 15,000 years. This ancient artwork shows that the concept of contraception has been around for millennia. In ancient Greece, the slang term for oral sex was playing the flute, reflecting the playful and metaphorical language used to describe sexual acts. During World War I, British intelligence discovered that semen could be used as invisible ink. However, they abandoned this method due to its unpleasant odor over time. As of 2014, 12 U.S. states still had laws against sodomy, including oral sex, highlighting the ongoing legal battles over sexual freedom and privacy. Research indicates that women are more likely to orgasm if they receive oral sex during a sexual encounter. This finding emphasizes the importance of diverse sexual activities in enhancing sexual satisfaction. A study from the State University of New York suggests that using antibacterial mouthwash might help prevent the spread of gonorrhea, showing that everyday hygiene products can have unexpected health benefits. Semen contains compounds that can positively affect mood, increase affection, and promote better sleep. This could be a contributing factor to the emotional bonds formed through sexual activity. Not all penises behave the same way when they become erect. Some are growers, significantly increasing in length, while others are showers, which don't change much.
A study of 80 men found that the increases in length from flaxid to erect varied widely, with some penises growing less than half an inch and others over 3.5 inches. Alfred Kinsey's research showed that shorter flaccid penises tend to gain more length compared to longer flaccid penises. These terms, though not medically recognized, highlight the variability in how penises respond to arousal. Where is the most sensitive part of your penis? Many men would say it's the underside of the glanzy and the underside of the shaft. A study involving 81 healthy men asked them to rate the sensitivity of different body areas. The underside of the glands and shaft had the highest sensitivity ratings, followed by other parts of the penis, scrotum, anus, nipples, and neck. These findings were reported in the British Journal of Urology International in 2009. So fackerel sensitivity decreases with age. Studies have shown that from age 25 onward, sensitivity starts to decline, with the most significant drop occurring between ages 65 and 75. This is measured by the least amount of stimulation a man can feel, known as the sensory threshold. Despite this decline, many men don't notice a significant change in their sensitivity. Instead, they are more likely to report issues with erections and ejaculation. As men age, Changes in sexual function are common but manageable. While erectile dysfunction becomes more prevalent with age, many effective treatments are available, ranging from medication to lifestyle changes, staying physically active, maintaining a healthy diet, and managing stress can all help preserve sexual function as men age, to have a longer and stronger sexual life, to have a healthy penis and a vagina. You must maintain a balanced diet exercise regularly, practice safe sex, and ensure proper hygiene. A healthy lifestyle contributes not only to your overall well-being, but also to your sexual health. Like, comment, and subscribe for more from the wisdom of psychology.